The prosecution rested its case after calling six witnesses today. The last witness on the stand was Ashley Carr, a Tatiana Jefferson's sister. During her testimony, they showed these new photos of her. One of them smiling and laughing with Zion, another one with her by the water. Now her sister talked about how Tatiana graduated from Xavier University. Prosecutors rapidly went through expert witnesses, including a detective, two crime scene experts, a paramedic and the medical examiner. The defense grilled the crime scene investigators about how they processed the scene and did they preserve the evidence properly. The paramedic testified that when he arrived on the scene, a Tatiana was in distress. He says he helped perform CPR and other life-saving measures for about 20 minutes. He says her oxygen level was about 36% and they couldn't do anything to revive her. The medical examiner testified even if this had happened in an operating room, a Tatiana most likely would not have survived the wounds. She was shot in the heart. They also talked about how she had diabetes. Her sister says that's why Atatiana wanted to go back to school to become a doctor. She wanted to find the cure of diabetes because she's had it since she was very young. The defense is up next. Their case is expected to begin Monday morning. They cannot start until then because one of their expert witnesses cannot be here until then. This case could go to the jury as soon as Wednesday. In Fort Worth, I'm Rebecca Lopez. Back to you. This morning, I mean, really just we're in the building blocks, right? Building blocks of this case. WFAA is bringing you live coverage of all the testimony with Tanya Iser and a team of legal experts. You can find our streaming coverage on WFAA.com, WFAA Plus, and our YouTube page.